Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get started with mapping in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, so what you're gonna do is create, go to File, Create a New Map. Here is your tools, you got the camera view, which you should change the 3D texture, uh, because then you can see the textures you're making. Uh, on Counter-Strike Source it was 3D textured slash shaded texture polygons, now it's just 3D textured. Here it's top X, Y. You should have a side view, oops, side X, Z, and front Y, Z. These are the views you have. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of create a floor where your map is. So you can select the brush block tool, and then you go over here to the right side, and you can browse for textures. I just want some concrete, so I'm going to search for concrete. Oh yes, con. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that, that one looks great. So then I'm gonna make yeah. And I'm just gonna create a block type of my choice. This is a very large one, so I'm gonna create and make it smaller. Yeah, that's good. Uh, now, when I start to create it on one view, you can see it on the other views. So you can change it here. Here you have the uh, the width, and here you have the length. And here's the top view. I press enter, and here you go. You created a block. Okay. So now, let's let's create some walls or something. Now let's create a spawn point because uh, the next thing you need in the map is somewhere for the players to spawn. So that is really easy. Just click the entity tool right here and click somewhere on the map where you want to spawn to be. At the moment, uh, the terrorist spawn point is bugged. I'm going to release a video of this, how to fix this. But this is, I don't know why it's bugged. Uh, the model of it is bugged. I think that the terrorist should work, although it should work. It should look like a CT. And I can show you how a CT spawn looks. Uh, So to make to get a CT spawn, just type in counter, and there you go. Info player counter terrorist. Press apply, and you can see the model changes. And this is how it should. This is how the terrorist should look. Although it should be a terrorist. So you can see the difference here. It says error because it cannot load the uh, the model for some reason. I hope this can get fixed. But yeah. So now we have one spawn each. That is great. Next up, we're gonna create some walls because in your map you cannot have this black thing. This black thing will look really weird and like an epilepsy attack or something. So we're gonna create some walls. Let's type in, I don't know, wall maybe. Yeah, that worked. Wick wall. Perfect. Now we're gonna create walls around everything. So I'm gonna I start by picking wait why isn't yeah I don't it's on the thing. I start by going to the top view and choose where I want the wall. Can I make it high enough? A normal wall should be around 128. Uh yeah a normal wall should be around 128 I think. So now when we made a wall it kinda looks like this. And this is a normal wall for a house. Okay. Okay. Let's. Yeah. So this will not be a big tutorial. This will just be how to get started. Like how to create locks. As you can see here. You can change the width. For many. Uh, but as you can see at the moment. 64 is the smallest we can go. So if you go up here. To smaller grid. You can see that we got it smaller now. So now it's half the size of that. And now it's even smaller. So now from 64 to 32 to a 16. Yeah. But I'm gonna stick to 64, and I'm gonna create a smaller, the bigger grid. Otherwise, it will be messy. Press enter, and I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, let's throw that. Instead of making walls for the other, for the let's instead of making new walls, you can just go like this. Select the wall, go over to the top view. Hold in shift and drag the wall. Now release it on the location where you want it to be. 
and why didn't it copy there we go uh, I don't know what happened there but yeah you're supposed to shift hold shift drag it release it I think you need to release it by when you're holding shift let's try that out I'm holding shift now I'm dragging it over I'm releasing it and I release shift yeah okay that's I release shift too fast so there we go, now we got a nice set of walls. Okay, so let's create a skybox. And I'm going to explain you what a skybox is. Also, everything I do in this tutorial, uh, when it comes to specific stuff, I'm going to create specific tutorials about. I'm going to create a tutorial about skyboxes, etc, etc. But let's create a fast skybox. To create a skybox, all you got to do is type in sky. Skybox here in the filter. And it will filter out the skyboxes. Now you're going to go to the lower section here. And take the skybox that looks kind of weird, it looks like that. And you're gonna place it on top of these. Whoops. Gonna place it on top of these. You can scroll while moving this, so you can actually move if you scroll out. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure that it is on top of the wall. Like that. And now I'm gonna press enter, and here is the skybox. And that actually is it. Now we have a fully functional map. We got spawn points, counter terrorist, and terrorist. I will see if this will work later, otherwise, I'll make a video on how to fix the terrorist thingy. Uh, they will start with specific weapons, but that I'm gonna show you how to make in another tutorial. Um, yeah, but let's say we want to change texture on one of the walls. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select, you're gonna select the texture that you want, like wall. Uh, let's take that one, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the toggle texture application, and you're gonna choose wall. Just right click on it. Now you can see it looks all weird. If I click on another one, it's gonna look weird as well. Then you can do like this, you select the wall by holding control, select several walls. Uh, also one thing, this will not affect the other side of the same wall. The texture application tool only affects the side of the block we are selecting. So now we can also press this little thing right here, which is fit, and it will fit the texture, although it will look really really weird. So I would not recommend doing that. But yeah, this is just for testing. Uh, we're actually going to change that because that looks awful. Let's take another brick wall. I don't know. Let's take that one. So again, just you can just okay. Uh, when you right when you left click on a wall with uh, with a texture selected, you will actually select that texture. So make sure to right click. Okay, that looks better somehow yeah whatever uh, okay and as you can see the texture is still the same on this side so for instance if we were to click on a block you can actually see that all the sides are selected but with the texture application tool you only select a surface of the side of the wall and you can select several by holding control. Yeah. Next thing, uh, let's let's say we want grass on half this ground here. So we're gonna select the ground. We're gonna go over to the top view. And we're gonna select this tool right here, called the clipping tool. And then we're gonna select the middle. And we're gonna just do like that. Uh, as you can see right now, the left side is white, the right side is red. And this will mean that the white side is gonna get saved, it's gonna be left, it's gonna be still here when we use when we press enter. But when I press enter the right the red side is gonna get removed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna 
What are you gonna do? Okay, there we go. I had to do some research. It was a long time since I used this tool. Uh, yeah, what you're gonna do is, uh, as you can see now, both are white. But if I click this clipping tool again, just click on it. You can see the left side is white, the red side, to the right side is red. Click on it red again. They switch it. They switched. I mean, and click on it again. Both are white. So let's remove one side. Whoops. 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 Now I cancelled it. And as you can see, you don't have to drag it out. You can just, I mean, all I got to do is make a line somehow. So I'm actually going to press enter here. Now you can see if I click on one side, I only select that part. I have I have clipped the, the block in half, really. Also, let's say you have a texture selected. And instead of using the texture application tool, you want to change the entire texture of that block. You can do that just by finding the texture you want. So I'm going to search for grass, uh, that one looks good, and then instead of text clicking on texture application tool, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to click on this tool, apply current texture. That's how that looks, and that looks awful. Okay, we're not going to select that one. Okay, they're not going to select that one either. There we go, fully gl normal glass, uh, grass. So yeah, uh, that's really everything you need for to create a map. Uh, of course, you're gonna need more, a lot more stuff. You're gonna need a lot of imagination, and you're gonna need a lot of time. But this is just how to get you started. Uh, more tutorials will come. I will release one tutorial every day from now on. So yeah. Uh, I don't think we need to add more than to how to run your map and how to go into your map, which is could be trouble in Counter Strike Global Offensive because they changed it a lot. But to run your map, because now the map is in a VMF format, if you press save, you save it. Wait, yeah, we need to save it as something. I'm gonna take Hammer Tutorials, save. Yes, uh, file. If we're gonna open now, you can see that it is in a VMF format. Which is really a text document with a lot of numbers and things. But if we go over here to the run map icon, which looks kind of like a steam wall thing, we're gonna run the map. And when you're not done with your map, you're gonna take in fast on V's. Everything else is gonna be normal, but you're gonna take in fast on V's because this is the thing that takes a huge amount of time. But when you're fully complete with your map, you should take in to normal. Uh, it will take maybe one hour to run your map, but since it is the final compiling, it should be done. Also, select don't run the game after compiling, because uh, they changed it. Because in CSS, when you had, when you don't didn't have this box ticked, the contract source would start, and you would automatically go into your map. But now it only starts the game, and you can't really do anything really. So press OK. Now you're gonna see something like this. Uh, this is a very small map, so it wasn't really long running. Uh, we can actually close this down now. And we're going to close this down. And... What happened? There we go. We're going to go... Instead of going to the tools, we're going to go to games. And you're going to find Counter-Strike Global Offensive. There it is. You're going to right-click on it. You're going to take it to Properties. And you're going to set, set Launch Options. Now, on launch options, you're going to type in that. You're going to type in a, I don't know what it's called, a bin the streck in Swedish. Uh, console. You're going to type. Uh, you could also type in, to make sure, you type in toggle console. But that is not needed, I think. We're going to try it out. So press OK. Close this down, and then start the game. Press play. 